When you're a global leader in compact excavators, you've learned a thing or two about what owners and operators require from construction machinery. Reliability, performance, versatility, value. Your next skid steer needs to be designed and engineered for the long haul, and Kubota delivers. The Kubota SSV65 and SSV75 are two of the newest and hottest skid steers on the market today. Kubota's name on the hood means top quality for the long term and the power to get the job done. We're going to show you why the reliability, efficiency, and value of a Kubota make it your best choice for your next skid steer. Let's take a look at the Kubota SSV65 versus the John Deere 318E, Bobcat S570, and New Holland L218, and the SSV75 versus the John Deere 326E, Bobcat S650, and New Holland L228. We'll start with engineering. Kubota's engines are purposely designed and manufactured by Kubota. This ensures that the engine powering your Kubota is optimized for the job. John Deere's engine is made by Yanmar and is not purposely designed for just their products. The New Holland is similar, using ISM and FPT engines in their skid steers, while the Bobcat bolts in a Dusen engine. Kubota's SSV65 engine beats the competition, generating 64 gross horsepower as compared to 63 for the Deere 318E, 61 for the Bobcat S570, and 60 for the New Holland L218. The larger Kubota SSV75 generates 74.3 gross horsepower and is comparable to models this size. Kubota wins by more than just simple numbers. Kubota manufactured engines work best in Kubota skid steers because that is what they are engineered for. The Kubota design goes beyond the engine. The whole skid steer is engineered and manufactured from the wheels up by Kubota. The Kubota SSV cab unit also comes equipped with a low effort sliding door, which allows the operator to open the front door without fear of hitting the loader arm. No other skid steer in this comparison has a roll-up door. Kubota's slide-up door makes getting in and out easier. The slide-up door also increases visibility at the corners since there are no large hinges and fixed corners blocking the operator's line of sight. The Kubota SSV also comes with a dust-resistant, sealed and pressurized cab. The glass side panels are installed on the outside of the SSV for easier cleaning and ideal sealing of the glass perimeters, which better seals the cab for a quieter ride. All the competitors, except the Bobcat, have the glass on the inside, making it difficult to clean the outside unless you take the glass out. The Kubota Superior Sealed Cab not only stays cleaner longer, but is also quieter thanks to its variable speed hydraulic cooling fan. On the Kubota, this efficient cooling system regulates the speed of the fan for on-demand cooling. The Kubota's fan only turns as fast as it needs to for less noise, increased cooling capacity, and greater fuel efficiency. Competitive models with constant speed fans, like New Holland, don't have this feature. Kubota is known for their ease of operation. This is a benefit of their ground-up design. The Kubota SSV line has been designed with strategic location of all the cab switches and controls. The operator never has to break eye contact with the job at hand because all the frequently used buttons and switches are located along the front posts while those less frequently used, like the radio, are located on the rear posts. All are at arm's reach and within peripheral vision of the operator. Other units in this comparison have their switches and locations not as easy to reach or find while keeping an eye on the load. When it comes to getting the job done, Kubota leads the way in hinge pin clearance. Remember, it's how much hinge pin clearance, not how much hinge pin height that counts. Kubota's loader arms are designed for maximum clearance. Some of the others may have good height, but the dog leg on their loader arm gets in the way of their pin clearance. With superior clearance, the operator's job is much easier and faster. On the Kubota, the rear linkage, which extends to give it vertical lift, is well tucked in the rear of the machine and does not traverse the loader arm, blocking the operator's side visibility. 
This unique design enhances the loader's strength, making it ideal for applications where vertical geometry is needed and well suited for radial applications as well. Some of the others have linkages whose length makes them susceptible to damage or impairs visibility. The SSV65 has the largest fuel tank in its class with 25.4 gallons, allowing you to work longer without having to refuel. The SSV75 has more fuel capacity than both the Deer 326E and New Holland L228. It beats the Deer by 2.9 gallons and beats the New Holland by 1.4 gallons. Easier maintenance is also possible on Kubota SSVs due to a unique rear door mounted fuel tank. It removes a large volume of space out of the engine compartment, thereby allowing more room to do daily maintenance checks. The competitors have crowded components and over-cluttered engine compartments due to the added emission regulation parts. The Kubota SSV has a solid wide wheelbase and what many engineers believe is an ideal 34-66% ratio split of front and rear axles. The 34-66% ratio gives the Kubota outstanding balance while unloaded and still maintains balance while carrying a heavy load. Most of the others do not share this 34-66 percentage ratio, which in some cases can lead to unwanted tendencies to wheelie at inopportune times. With a Kubota SSV, you have a solid wheelbase and percentage ratio to get the job done. Nothing beats the ownership experience of a Kubota. Smart engineering, high efficiency, long-term reliability, and long-lasting value. These are things that are important to you, and they're important to Kubota. See your local Kubota construction equipment dealer for more details on the Kubota SSV advantages.